Hello everybody, we're still working on examples of solving parallelograms. Um, we're going to use a couple more properties here. So let's go ahead and get started. On number one, we're seeing here the two diagonals. Another property of parallelograms is the diagonals bisect each other. So if diagonals bisect each other, this piece is equal to this piece, this piece is equal to this piece. So I'm going to set 8 equal to 4y. Solve for y by dividing by 4, y is 2. I'm going to set 3x equal to 12, divide by 3, x is 4. Okay, number 2, um, not only do the diagonals bisect each other, but all four pieces happen to be the same because these markings here denote such. 2y can be set equal to 28, divide by 2, y is 14. And we now know that 4x is also equal to 28. Divide by 4, x is 7. Okay, number 3, there's a lot going on with 3. We're going to use the property that um, the diagonal separates a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So let's look at it from this perspective. We have these two triangles congruent, and because of the markings, they happen to be isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangles um, have opposite angles that are congruent. So this angle here and this angle here are congruent. They're opposite the congruent sides. This is also 60 degrees for a grand total of 120 degrees on this upper angle here. Okay, that leaves 60 degrees left to be divided between these two equal angles, and that means they're both 30 degrees, 30 here and 30 here. That allows us to set 2x equal to 30. Dividing by 2, x is 15. Okay, um, on the opposite side we have the same triangle that's congruent. We can now know this 4y is equal to 30. I'm dividing both sides by 4, y is 7.5. Okay, for number 4, um, first we'll knock out the um, x variable by these two di this two segments of the diagonal are equal to each other. 10 equals 3x, x equals 10 thirds. That's also 3 and 1 third, or 3.3 repeating. And now what we need to notice here is that if we look at this triangle right here, it happens to be a 30, 60, 90. Here's 30, here's 90, and here's 60. That leaves us to find y. What is y? Well, 10 is the short leg, y is the long leg, and the long leg is the short leg times a multiple of the factor of square root of 3. Decimal of that is 17.3. Okay, for number 5, um, here we have um, diagonals uh, cutting, cutting through the parallelogram. Um, notice that these markings here, this angle is equal to this angle. That means we have an isosceles right triangle here. This side is equal to this side, which makes this side 12. And since it's a parallelogram, we have parallel sides. Um, we have an inverted equal triangle on the other side. This angle is the same. This, ang this side is also 12. Okay, um, this degree is 90, leaving 45 degrees here on this angle and 45 on the other angle. We can solve for x by doing 3x equals 45 and x equals 15 if we divide both sides by 3. Okay, however the y, let's look at this triangle here. We now see that we are dealing with two 45, 45, 90 triangles. We know one leg is 12. This other leg, the hypotenuse, I'm sorry, not the leg, but the hypotenuse is 12 square root of 2, and that's by the ratios of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Y 2y, I'm sorry, is 12 square root of 2. Dividing by 2, y is 6 square root of 2. And the decimal for that is about 8.5. So either one of those answers. Okay, then we come to number 6. And number 6, um, we're going to use um, our triangles again. We know we're broken up into two congruent triangles. If this is 90, this is also 90. Okay, and then uh, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, let's label some more of these. This side's 17, this side's 17. 